This is a little video about coil wine on the uh, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. This particular card is an EVGA one. It's the uh, SC Black Edition, so it's sort of slightly overclocked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, 3D Mark. It's the free edition, as you can see there, basic edition, and I'm going to run Ice Storm, which is the one that's designed for uh, smartphones and tablets. So this card should produce some pretty serious frame rates because um, it won't be that demanding. So what we need to do first of all is get the camera on the tripod. It's not going to be a very nice view. Um, just click run. It takes a while for it to start and we'll see if we can pick up any of this coil wine. The microphone is positioned just inside where the case side panel would be. We're about to start. Um, Ice Storm demo is loading. And here's the ship with little ships. Can't hear anything at the moment. a bit just then. It's gone quiet now though. I'll probably stop talking so we can run the whole benchmark and see if we get any cool one. So there was a bit in that. Um, that's the flyby bit. 190, 200, 220, around about 200 frames per second it's doing at the moment, so it's really sort of thrashing this a little bit. But I can't, I can't hear any coil whine. There is a water pump in this machine. And there are lots of fans, um, but the side panel is off. Uh, now it's the graphics test too, so maybe we'll hear some on this. About 220 frames per second. The last bit was 280 frames a second, nearly 300 frames per second, and that was quite squealy. Uh, and that is the physics test, and it's uh, 240 frames per second for the bouncing little blobbly bits. Um, and I can't hear any coil whine on that. 
So I think we've got a bit of a conclusion. Is it finished? I think that's it. Yes, it's just doing the um, results. So I'll unclip the camera. We'll bring it round and we get that, which is. Valid result, and we are basically 99% of all results. So, um, yeah, that's quite good. Um, so, what I can say is that when you have very, very high frame rates, you get a lot of cool life. So, on this particular benchmark, it's getting nearly 300 frames per second on a certain part of it, and that's of course. When the frame rate dropped below 250, you didn't hear any particularly complicated. So realistically, for gaming, where well you're probably going to be aiming for 60 frames per second, you're not surprised. But you might not hear it with the right frame rate. So you might be having the right frame rate at all. I will test that. Anyway, if you find the video helpful, then um, leave a comment and we'll see you next time.